Well, um, we're making progress. <laughs> I don't know. Um, things are getting moved about, and actually, I've thrown a lot of shit out of here. Right, gone in the scrap trailer, gone in the um, disposal. Whatever. Um. We got a bunch more boxes and all that stuff over here that's got to get gone through, but we're uh, picking and sorting, and you can see that the uh, A is not over here. It is actually over there, so it is stationed underneath the cherry or the the gantry, so that way we can roll that forward, support the engine, get the front end out. It'll be a lot easier to do it right there where it's accessible versus over here off to the side and in the way and all the other stuff. So right now I'm. Working my way through this back corner, you can see we did the bench, um, other than a few things that are leaning up and sitting there that got to be put away as we go here, but uh, we're going to go through this back corner, um, that baler side, that sheet metal, I'm not sure what the fuck I'm going to do with those, they're just not a good place in here for sheet goods, I just, I don't have one, um, they take up so much fucking room, and uh, yeah, so then... Um, as we get clean and organized, I got all these spare parts for the um, corn picker. Um, as I've explained in previous videos, that back part is going to get turned into cold storage. So I think I'm going to throw those on a pallet and just stick them back there because I can drive in, stick them in there, and they'll semi be out of the way for right now. Um, a lot of this other stuff, that bandsaw, um, I, I got shipping notice on the fucking bearings. Still don't have any bearings. So, I am going to take it and just place all of it on the bench. Once I get the benches cleaned off back there, that way it's out of the way and I can use this a little bit more. Um, yeah, and then go through the rest of this, throw out what we don't need and organize and keep the rest. So, it's pretty much going to be the day. Um, it's like 11 something now. I've been in here since 9 ish. 8 30 9 o'clock but i don't know well we'll make progress we'll pick away keep going keep uh plugging away and all the equipment's obviously gonna have to get put over there um in various spots and then we're gonna try to get the because i have that iron sitting on the floor there that was gonna be the old hoist till i bought the new hoist and then so we're gonna be utilizing that it's not gonna go to waste we're gonna try to get the press frame built and get it put in there. We won't have it finished, but at least get the, the materials used and put in their place. So we'll have a press frame too, but we'll do that in a separate build. So I'm gonna keep cleaning. Yep, it's Wednesday and the beard's still here. So rocking the beard boys, woo! Um, Hurry now, good in you, not so bad. I should really start taking this YouTube thing more seriously because I haven't recorded a fucking thing lately. So uh, the video feed's been getting kind of slow. And last night I had one, but it wouldn't upload, so I don't know, I gotta get on fucking different routine or some shit, I don't know. Anyway, we're water loading, it's Wednesday, and I don't know if Bob's gonna show up. And uh, I don't know how hell-bent people are on this beard thing, but... <clears throat> We're starting over. We can try her again. What are you doing today, Rick? Well, this fucking thing's got to be tore apart. I changed oil on it earlier, so, uh, yeah, we're put out some old uh, power-driven diesel in her. Fucking right there, boys. Three gallons of that stuff. Fucking let her rip tater chip. Um, I've done oil changes on this so many fucking times before on videos that I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to get it done, and... Frankly, I haven't felt like doing much for video lately. It's just been... I'm really trying hard to quit drinking Mountain Dew, and I'm fucking having a hard time with it, so... I haven't had one in a few days, but you get in that fucking lull. Where if you try to quit anything you get fucking addicted to, I should probably quit drinking beer, too. But whatever. One thing at a time, right? Um, uh, so, we're going to work on this fucking thing, I swear. I swear to God. Um, fuck. My shit's always broken. I don't have any hay down yet. It's the fucking, what, 7th? 6th? 6th of 
July. Haven't dropped a fucking blade of grass with the hay bine yet. Hay bine needs some fucking work too, but uh, one thing at a time, we gotta get the powertrain going first and then uh, we'll get the hay bine down here and work on that. And then the baler. I don't know that the baler needs a lot of work, but it needs some maintenance. The rake, that's fucking rake teeth. <laughs> um but anyway we gotta put a seal in this i've been waiting on the seal katie got it uh, a couple days ago and uh we can finally rip into this bastard get a seal put in it because i did not want to risk screwing up the front end on this thing by running it and suddenly it's just dropping all its oil because once in a while just sitting overnight it would decide to expel all of its gear oil in that front hub. So moving around the yard and doing a couple of things here and there wasn't a huge deal because I wasn't putting on a ton of hours and a ton of miles every day. So top it off with a quart of gear oil wasn't a huge deal. But now if we're going to be running, running it for hours every day, we got to be kind of on the ball here. So obviously I already took the wheel off. That's got to be degreased as, long, as well as this once I get to point um well, that was a stud huh. and there's a couple more studs that's kind of handy put the washer over there This is the one handy part about not having uh, a two post or something like that because where the two post, the post would be and the arms swung out, it'd be right in my fucking way. Let alone trying to fit the tractor in between and all other junk. Um, I was going to crack the drain plug, but I'm opening the case anyway, so I may as well just crack the, um, something dinged on that one. What the fuck? Do we got a wing ding on that one? Yeah, I'll get a hammer. Drive that bastard on there. Um, so, yeah, we got... Should have been dinged and it's like half sheared off, so I'm gonna have to get another a new bolt for that. So uh let me just crack or glue this here. I'm trying to look and see if they got a pry point where some of these they cast them so you have a pry point and you can pop it loose. A little bar action. Doesn't look like we got any of that going on here. We don't have any uh they were we got a boss there and one over here would have been nice if they would have put a posing one on the face so you got a pry point. I know on some of the front covers, especially on the Fords, they do that. Um, see, I even greased it, Luke. Look at that. I, 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 I greased it, Luke. So, I don't know if she'll just... I've never had one of the front end one of these apart before. And... Uh, I think I might have them. Well, I got an owner's manual for it, but I don't think I have a repair manual for it. What did I do with my... What did I do with my Mac hammer? The orange one. I don't know what I did with it. I don't... tonight we can actually live stream from a uh, computer or something because I'm really tired of live streaming from a fucking phone. Um, that's turning out to be less than fun. So, 
I really like to have a mallet. And if it'll just pop loose. Why would it just pop loose, Rick? For the fuck's sake. Nothing to pry on. Not one fucking spot, huh? Shit. Shit. This can't give me nothing. Where the fuck is it? Put it there on your dirt, something like that? Maybe? I suppose you guys really like the remote commentary and you can't even see what the fuck I'm doing, huh? That's probably entertaining as nothing. Um, how about if we got it? We got a cheap ass. Flat screwdriver in here? Let's try it. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. We'll grab a Mac one. We'll break this one. You don't tear. Shit. You need to have, you make straight end pry bars. You need to make straight end screwdrivers. I'm just saying. Kind of looks like maybe we could go right here. Try. Maybe not. I oh, I may have been uh, bullshitting. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! See that? Sometimes you just have to have the right angle on your dangle. Perfect. She's fucking minty. Is this an O-ring? I thought it was a gasket. It must be an O-ring. Hopefully I'm in the right spot with this pan to catch it, because... Oh, I, uh... <laughs> Maybe I should have drained it. More screwdrivers! Be big. All the big screwdrivers. We're just going to use max screwdrivers for everything. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Oh, here we got some. We got a little hydraulic oil in there too yet. I don't know if that separates out or what, because I've been filling it with gear oil. But hey, what have? I don't care for all the real, oh, really care for all the, the silver bells that are in this shit. That's not cool. Um, maybe. Yeah, does it look good? Yeah. Still, I guess we're gonna find out when we get it apart. Doesn't smell horrible, but. I really, really don't want to do fucking bearings right now. Just, just, I don't need that. I don't need that kick in the dick at this point. Like, you know, nothing. Fucking farming doesn't cost enough money. We may as well have fucking... Have you ever had one of these apart? I've never had one of these apart. Oh, fucking idea. So it should fall apart in here? Pull it off or what? Well that's like an alignment stud. Right? Alignment though? Oh, perfect. Okay, we got it off that.
seriously, I've never had one of these apart. I was going to watch a YouTube video, Jim, but then I didn't. Because, I don't know. Rags? We're going to probably want to put this on the bench, huh? Maybe over here. Now that, now that we have the welding table half ass cleaned off, we half ass. We're not, we're not, we didn't all ass it, we half assed it, but hey, it's better than what we had before, so we're making some baby steps. Baby steps. Oh shit. Just like that, huh? Oh shit. What is that for? Okay, so how do I get all that apart? Huh? You got a press on that on? Anybody else doing? I am what I was expecting. So I'm assuming. Okay. <sighs> we got problem. Here, there. Gears don't look terrible though. I mean, we can work with that. Right? Okay. No big shavings down on the bottom or anything. I gotta wash up and then I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so uh, here's my problem. I wasn't planning on this thing being pressed together because um, I haven't built my press yet and I know, I know one place I could press it but I don't want them to press it because they're fucking mm -mm. I've seen their press shit's probably going to get wrecked so yeah I didn't uh plan on building a press to fix the tractor but apparently I'm gonna have to build a press to fix the tractor because that seals in there and that bearing presses off I assume you press that off with the gear and so you press the hub down through that and uh, try not to explode all the bearings because that would be dumb. I better see if those are fucking available before I get too far into this and not be able to get bearings for the fucking thing. So, because then I'd really be fucked. I can I can at least add gear oil every hour, but if I can't get bearings for the bastard, then I'm screwed. So, I'm gonna do some research here, and then we'll decide how much further we're going on this fucking thing. Fuck. Okay, so after some uh, research here, um. I can't get bearings for a few days. I'd have to freight them in. Um, I'm not, I could get cheap ones fucking online, two day delivery from fucking Amazon. We know how that's gonna go. Um, so I'm gonna elect to clean this bitch up. I'm gonna clean it all up, scrub that hub down. We're gonna fill this thing up completely with gear oil and then we'll change the other side as well while we're in there. Fuck it, we may as well do it. Um, and hopefully the heavier weight oil is not mixing with the old fucking hydraulic oil and maybe it'll slow the leak down maybe it'll get us by i'll get some bearings here get it on hand and we'll fucking take take her apart and fucking get the press built and all that other stuff so that way we have the ability to do it in-house and all that other stuff it's how things go guys it's not ideal i realize that and i know i'm gonna get my ass flamed for it but fuck it it is what it is it's my tractor i know the scenario if somebody was bringing it to me i would sublet this job out this just gives me the opportunity to build more things and um we're just we keep expanding and advancing the shop so that's what i need to do for this um if it was a job that i was doing for somebody i'd either sublet it or that job helps pay for the investment to into the shop and you just don't make any money that day I've done plenty of those jobs recently where we are just investing back in. I was trying to see if this uh, bearing and 
pulley puller would was long enough that I know the bar is not um, it's not going to span outside you're not going to get far enough out on that I know uh, Squatch 253 Toby has a puller that would pull that apart but again they don't have bearings so we may as well create the tools that I can do this entire job I mean and then if I need the bearings I'll get the bearings or use the bearings otherwise I can return the bearings another reason I do it through Napa is because then a return is not a huge deal so yeah we're uh it is what it is guys I guess fucking it's reality working on living on a farm and you have shit to do so we're gonna go ahead we'll I'll clean all that up and then uh I'm not gonna get into the greasy grimy gopher guts of cleaning all this shit up and then we'll just bring it back and reassemble the fucking thing is what it is okay so as you can see i put that hub back on there um two reasons i figured both the the inside of the hub and the inside of the knuckle were nice and clean there's no sense in risking contamination by putting all this crap and trying to clean it so slide everything back together, leave it all nice and clean, and then we'll clean it up from there. So now we can go ahead and get the bulk of this junk off here. I didn't want to put it in the drain pan because I'm uh, going to see if people want that for waste oil to drain or to burn for heat in the winter. I particularly heat with wood, but there's a lot of places around that heat with waste oil and would like to have some oil to heat with, whether we do a little barter or we just uh, got so much that we give it to them. I know uh, one gentleman in particular has donated plenty of things to me. So if you need some waste oil to burn, bud, I got some for you. And I'm trying not to even put any junk in it. Of course, there's always shit that settles out in the bottom. He knows that. He's no dummy. Randy, I appreciate you, man. So, I want to clean out back here. And this is at least proof for Luke that I'm actually fucking doing it. So. And then as we get the other things, get updates. This fucker, it's only permanent fucking work. So, if it heals itself up, we're going to leave it the fuck alone. I can tell you right now. We're not going to make more problems for ourselves than we have to. But we will build the other stuff and in preparation and anticipation that this does not work. So, um, break cleans over here. Grab a wire brush. Go get in here and wire brush and you're all, uh, spit up, clean up. Clean this thing all out nice, really. Um, I'm going to throw it in two-wheel drive. We can spin that hub that way, I think. Yeah, because... It's an open front diff. Could go back over the drain pan for this. It'll just help with that. It's really where I want to get into. Back in there. And I'll switch to the drain pan. Back to the drain pan. It'll help with the disposal process. If it's got a little brake cleaner on it. Even though it's not flammable to save your life. Where did I put the wire brush? Oh, I put it in the box. <laughs> Good and you. I'm trying to use it like that because it doesn't throw so much back at me that way. Clean the inside of that hub. Oh, yeah. Put the straw in there. 
So you get right back in there, clean out that ceiling surface. Hopefully, it's not completely cut out. I have a feeling that it is, but at least at this point, what the hell, we can try it. Oh, I see a strand of uh, twine in there. Maybe, just maybe, we can get that out of there. I don't know. It depends on if the, the twine actually cut it or if the twine is just holding the seal away from the surface. There it is. Grab me a needle on those players. Should have grabbed that to begin with, but why not? Got variations here. This, uh, both of these are from Mac, but. There's actually a pretty good wad in here. Let me show you. My hands are half ass clean anyway. Let me uh, get you in there. Your light will help me too, so. See that one? Oh, yeah. So maybe. Just maybe we uh, we can get her to stop. Oh God, I'd love that. See, I thought I had it all out of there, but maybe not. Maybe, just maybe, we can get that. There's still more in there. I can see it now. Maybe we make it worse. It's actually pretty a pretty robust seal that's in there. Holy shit. We did get it all now. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, that was just a little piece. Okay. Clean this thing out real good. Back in there. Nice. How's that? I think we'll be able to uh, clean this up the rest of the way and fill it up with gear oil and uh, probably spin it over and you'll be able to tell if this thing's gonna leak or not. We probably get a uh, seeper right from the start, so. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to finish cleaning this up and we'll fill it with gear oil and we'll just watch it and see. Uh <sighs> and Luke, I know we made it through most of this video, but I had to get the crescent wrench out for you, bud, because I just, uh, I didn't want to feel like, I want you to feel like I forgot about you. So I got the, got the old crescent wrench out. You can hope that it leaks for me. It's, it's fine. We're good. Some gear oil. Oh yeah, filler. I'd really, really like if this thing heals itself up. I doubt it, but um, wishful thinking, anyway, because. I have some full synthetic 8590. That's what I'm putting in this right now. I was going to use ISO 320, but I figured this 8590 full send would be appropriate as well. So.
Okay, you can go back that way. You do that, that way I don't have to hold on to you. Just go back there, right? Apparently we need more. I mean, we'll get some more because we got to pump it out and then we'll fill this thing up. Okay, so for Luke's sake, um, there you go. You can see in there, she's full. Nice and, uh, nice and filled up. Almost a gallon of gear oil to fill that side, so perfect. Good and you. Um, we're going to put our plug back in there. Nice. Snug her back up with a croissant wrench for Luke's sake. And uh, so I want to move the drain pan. I want to. I want a test piece. I guess you'd say. I want to. I want a clean piece of cardboard. I want to put it right there because that was where it was dripping immediately before. So we'll know. We want to give it a few spins here, and we want to see, I see a little bit of, maybe, but I don't know if that's just from cleaning it or not, but give it a few spins, see where things need to sit. Um, grandbaby's here to visit, so, and dinner's almost done, so I'm going to go in and uh, spend some time with him, eat some dinner, come back out, see if the fucking thing's leaking or not. Cross your fingers, boys. Cross your fingers. We're going to need this. Man. 